Nigeria, a country of over 170 million people, has six geopolitical zones for easy administration. Nigeria, the most populated country in Africa, has a land mass of 923,768 square kilometers and measures at its widest about 1,200 kilometers from east to west and about 1,050 kilometers from north to south. Nigeria gained her independence in 1960. The Nigerian Red Cross Society was also established by an Act of Parliament in 1960 and recognized by the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, in 1961 and admitted into the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, also in 1961. Since then, the Nigerian Red Cross Society has grown from strength to strength with branches in all 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory FCT and over 800,000 trained volunteers in divisions in virtually all the 774 local government areas in Nigeria. With this enormous human resource base of trained and dedicated volunteers, the Nigerian Red Cross Society, whose core competencies are first aid and disaster management, has been actively engaged in providing urgently needed humanitarian assistance arising from insurgency in the Northeast, oil pipeline explosions in the South, urban violence, communal clashes, and nature-induced disasters across the country. Our volunteers assist victims from blast scenes. We work with those who have been forced from their homes, as well as host communities, providing basic necessities of food and non-food items, psychosocial support, and livelihood support including skills acquisition, shelter and restoring family link. When they are able to return home, we are there to assist them in rebuilding their lives, constructing new shelters or repairing damaged ones and providing livelihood support. In collaboration with our partners, the Nigerian Red Cross Society has impacted on the lives of over 120,000 households in the northeastern states of Adamawa, Brunu, Yobe and Gombe with food and non-food items and provided shelter for 30 households also in the northeast and over 100 households in the flood hit part of Kogi state. The Nigerian Red Cross Society enjoys unfettered access. Our volunteers are community-based. We can go where other humanitarian agencies cannot. The Nigerian Red Cross Society piloted the first ever shelter project in Nigeria during the 2012 floods, the worst to hit Nigeria in over 40 years. Our volunteers worked throughout the affected states, providing humanitarian assistance where it was most needed. Our healthcare activities include public health in emergencies, HIV and AIDS polio measles eradication campaigns, health education, community-based first aid, motherless and abandoned babies' homes, and blood donor recruitment services. We work in water and sanitation, maternal and child health, malaria control, and most recently, as part of Ebola awareness campaign. The Nigerian Red Cross Society over the past two years has reached over 20 million households with health messages across the country. The Nigerian Red Cross Society gives serious attention to the youth who make up 60 to 70 percent of our over 800,000 strong volunteer force. Through annual international youth camp programs, annual first aid competitions and other programs such as Alternative to Violence and Youth as Agents of Behavioral Change, our volunteers are trained and equipped to respond. As a community-based humanitarian organization, the Nigerian Red Cross Society is almost always the first to respond in all situations of emergency, including but not limited to building collapses, road accidents, communal clashes, electoral violence, pipeline explosions, urban violence, cultism, to mention but a few.
The Nigerian Red Cross Society is closely monitoring the agitation and protests in the Southeast and parts of South South. The Nigerian Red Cross Society wishes to reach more people, do more and do better. But our resources as a non-governmental humanitarian agency are not always enough to meet the ever-increasing needs of people affected by disasters across the country. There is a serious and urgent need to strengthen our resource mobilization and management base. We know that this can help ensure more effective and efficient service delivery. The Nigerian Red Cross Society has only one ambulance at the national headquarters. All our 37 branches, who are almost always the first to respond to any emergency at the grassroots, where all emergencies occur, cannot but improvise ambulances, thereby using buses, pickup vans, cars, and even tricycles and carts to evacuate victims to health facilities. We have few operational vehicles and currently work from a rented building in the nation's capital. These inadequacies have grossly and adversely affected our resolve to ameliorate human suffering wherever it may be found. The Nigerian Red Cross Society is open to expanding our partnerships and therefore calls on government, donor agencies, local, corporate and international organizations as well as individuals to partner and identify with our vision to further ameliorate the pains of victims of armed conflicts and other disasters wherever it may be in Nigeria. The National Society enjoys a good relationship with the governments through their agencies. We cherish our partnerships with our traditional movement partners, the International Committee of Red Cross, ICRC, and the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC. Our partnerships with sister national societies have not been so fantastic in the recent past. We are hoping that we can have improved partnerships with them. Meanwhile, the government of Japan is supporting our efforts. We are looking forward to a growing relationship with them and having more governments, national societies and individuals partnering the Nigerian Red Cross Society as we move forward. There is an ample room for more support. There is an urgent need to enhance the emergency preparedness, have a readily available emergency fund, well-stocked warehouses in all six geopolitical zones of the country, and the capacity to train and retrain volunteers and staff. The Nigerian Red Cross Society has proven over time to be the most accepted humanitarian organization in the country. Supporting the activities of the Nigerian Red Cross Society is the surest way of meeting the needs of the vulnerable people in Nigeria.